Hey Pisces Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I'm, I'm hearing so many messages. I'm getting bombarded. I never forgot that fast what your <clears throat> channel message was because I'm getting bombarded with messages. It could be a lot going on with you. Somebody could be um, at Dunkin' Donuts or got Dunkin' Donuts for like breakfast or something, some coffee, a breakfast sandwich or something. <clears throat> Something could be going on with someone's garage door. I'm getting so many channel messages, y'all. I'm sorry. It could be something significant about somebody's security system. Make sure your security system is working properly, your cameras, things like that. I don't know why these messages are coming through. So, what was your channel message? I need to get it back because it was important. It's a sticky situation. You got a master illusionist around you, Pisces, a Gemini or a Virgo. Somebody here is a liar. Yeah, seven of cups with the tower. So I'm seeing some of you embracing singlehood. Virgo energy. Oh, this could be a nine-year relationship. Could also be um, someone you work with, or it could be someone who's nine years, years older or younger than you. Doesn't have to be the case. But yeah, seven of swords under that. So there's some deceptive energy, and then the devil is under that. My God. So my spotty senses were right. So some of you have a Capricorn and Aquarius, or possibly a Virgo or Gemini around you. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Yeah, it could be a fixed sign. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, or Sagittarius person. It could be any of these signs. Somebody is... Somebody is full of crap. And the universe is stepping in to, to break this up or already has. Okay. But number one, you have a lot of good fortune, money, and things like that coming your way. Some of you are manifesting some kind of abundance. Something you have been working hard on will pay off. Okay. You have a workable plan. Spirit is telling you to take action on it if you haven't already. Some of you are highly create, creative people. You're talented people. You need to have faith in yourself and go after something here. Because it's your destiny, it's your fate, it's what's meant for you, and it will pay off. Now, let's get into this, this energy. We have the Six of Pentacles. Balance and selflessness with giving and receiving. The Nine of Swords. So we have Taurus and um, Gemini energy with the King of Swords. Aquarius energy. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, somebody cold, somebody distant, somebody that is detached and doesn't really give you back what you give them. And you might have a lot of regrets about investing in this person. Could be a six-year relationship or age difference. Could have been playing out over the last nine weeks for some of you. Doesn't have to be the case, but I just have to mention that. These cards are just kind of like the framework. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes, okay? Also, I want to tell y'all, somebody in your energy is on the down low. You got the rainbow card. You got pride. You got sexuality. And you got temperance with five of wands and the ten of wands. Somebody struggling to come out the closet here. So we have rainbow blessings and the two of pentacles. For some of you, you could be giving birth to twins. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but you could be. So the two of pentacles talks about working hard and playing hard. It's a balancing act. It's multitasking. Juggling a lot, but doing a really good job at doing it. But I feel like some of you are working really hard to manifest whatever these blessings are. There's some kind of rainbow after a storm here. Some blessings are coming in after a hard time. For some of you, it's money fluctuating. That's about to turn around and pay off. You could be working multiple jobs. You could just feel like your money is fluctuating. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Some of you are taking a look at your debt-to-income ratio and finding a little more balance in the way you spend your money or you need to. So we have the number four here. Um, sexuality with temperance. Somebody here is either struggling with their sexual identity or orientation or whatever you call it. Okay? Now, this could be you doesn't have to be someone else this could even just be somebody not feeling very sensual very sexual because this is an asexual card can definitely talk about abstinence or celibacy so for some of you you might be very celibate maybe you're getting that itch that you need to be scratched i don't know but i do feel like with all of this energy rainbow and pride and this coming out together i feel like some of you are dealing with someone or this is your energy who's not being honest somebody is anxious about telling the truth because this is falling under the nine of swords somebody's not sleeping at night because they want to come out the closet yeah, look how caged in this person is. It's like somebody's overthinking it. They're, they're nervous about it. They're anxious about it. There could be a lot of gossip going on about it. Maybe people are speculating that that's what it is. That's very specific, y'all. But I, I'm hearing, especially if your person is brown skin. Like if they are an olive complected person to a darker hue, like brown like myself, just be keep your head on the swivel, Okay. I mean, they could also be a fair-skinned person, too, but I don't mean like an in-between. Like, when I say 
a, 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 heav a heavily melanated person. Okay, if that makes sense to you. So if you're a person who's not black, if you're a person who's not from a community of people who are considered melanated, your person could have a tan. There's something about their skin being brown. I don't know why spirit told me that, but spirit told me that, okay? They could also have light colored hair, sandy brown hair or something like that, or like really, really dark hair. I'm not seeing anybody with like blonde hair or anything like that. Not to say that that can't be the case, but that's not what I'm seeing. Okay, so we have here renewal. Number 27, regeneration begins with decay and the five of wands. So some of you are putting yourselves back together after a conflict with someone, maybe over the last five days. Could be a Leo person, could be a Scorpio person. There's been a conflict, clash of egos. You're not getting along with somebody. You had a war of words with someone. Tempers are flaring. There could be a lot of outside influences or jealousy or competition going on around you. This could even be in the workplace. Some of you are walking away from a job that's just become too damn tedious for you. And you're like, I don't feel like dealing with this environment or these people anymore. Something is ending so something new can be born here. And then we have pride coming out with the Ten of Wands. I love myself and I see myself in everyone with the Ten of Wands. What I will tell you, Pisces, is some of you have been overextending yourself because you are so full of love, right? Because you are so proud to say that you care about your fellow man or woman, right? But the thing is, are you overextending yourself with the Ten of Wands? This is burdens of responsibility, everyday stress, like just feeling worn out, feeling taken for granted. Some of you feel like what you put out, you don't get back. Six of Pentacles. You feel like you give, 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 and you don't get it back. But I feel like something is coming in here to bless you to give to, to balance these scales here. And it could be in the way of employment or something material because the pentacles are the material world. Something about two years could be significant. Something you've been working on for two years might actually be coming to fruition. For some of you, this could be a baby. Okay. But just watch your association and, and your relationships. If your person who is opposed to dating someone who's on the down low or something, they could be sleeping with trans people because the, the temperance card can, to, for me, represents either somebody could be bisexual um i get trans energy with that i get you know very asexual non-binary energy is what that represents okay especially with the master illusion is here somebody has like pulled the wool over your eyes so just just be mindful of that so we have the cactus here and this is why i say this is a sticky situation something could be significant about arizona like a dry climate or you could just feel like you're going through a dry spell some of you are abstinent you just feel like hey i need to get my groove on i don't know we have a robot here somebody's just going through the motions somebody could also work in the tech field or with technology or i don't know what would you be doing with a robot oh yeah this this robot has a heart so this is like somebody that's going through the motions with you emotionally they might just come across as kind of cold i don't like them Okay, so we have somebody googly-eyed over you. Somebody could be interested in you. I'm hearing teacher's pet. Some of you could be training for something with this apple being here. Somebody could also be very tempted by you. Somebody could have a crush on you. It could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. I'm getting a Gemini. I'm getting a Capricorn. What else am I too intuitively picking up with this apple? Um, yeah, Gemini or Capricorn or a water sign. They could be younger than you. Somebody has a crush on you. And then we have the star with the um the mvp cup here okay so i see you getting some kind of success read it accessory <laughs> success there's light at the end of the tunnel y'all something is victorious for you with this rainbow and y'all know that that pot of gold is on the other side of the rainbow right so why am i here reading rainbow some of y'all need to read more i just looked up and it said something about mental stability mental Oh, I forgot what I said that fast. Somebody could be having issues with their pet, like their pet not feeling well. But like mental stimulation, that's what it said on TV. Somebody needs mental stimulation, so I don't know. Some of y'all need to play like um, board games, memory games, things like that to keep your memory going. While a book, they, they have a book on the TV, this man is reading with his daughter. Some of y'all need to eat more fruit as well. But yeah, I'm seeing you be honored here, being recognized here. Some kind of blessing is coming towards you. It's like you're the star pupil. You are the guest of honor. You are the, the, you know, all eyes are on you about something here. There's some type of victory and success. Somebody could be watching the Olympics too. I don't know why I'm seeing the Olympics in my head. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull your advice. Some of you are tired of being taken for granted by someone. I just want you to know you ain't losing nothing because this person, they feel confused about their sexuality, y'all. They're hiding it. They done already acted on it. I should I should look. 
Let's look. Have they already acted on this? Because I feel like somebody is definitely down low. We got judgment. Uh, we got the ten of wands. And we got the nine of pentacles. You're getting repeating energy. Because you already got the ten of wands right here. And that's crowning pride. Power is mine in this very moment. Somebody could be about to come out, y'all. Somebody could have asserted themselves. Look at all that fruit here. Somebody needs to go vegan or vegetarian at least for a while. Maybe do like a... Um, uh, a fast where you're just eating fruits and vegetables, things like that. I don't know. But yeah, it says, I, God damn this damn net. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, I thrive. Something could be happening around Thanksgiving. This is the harvest moon energy. This is harvest time. Something could be happening this fall. I would say Virgo season, Sagittarius season for some of you. And then we have, I answer the call of my heart. Somebody wants to tell the truth here. Because the judgment card is when you are really self-assessing and like you need somebody need to tell the truth. Somebody could even be apologizing to you because they hid this from you. I feel like somebody will be coming out Scorpio season, Virgo season, Sagittarius season. Or, I mean, this does represent the summer. It could be something happening right now. Look at this thing going all these different ways. Like, which way do they go? They don't know. Yeah. Hmm. They could also, why am I hearing gay for pay? Because with this, this not a pentacles material gain, they could be doing it for money, especially if they're having a hard time. I don't know, y'all. Just watch yourself. Let's put these back in here just in case they want to come back out. I just want a piece of advice for you. I mean, shoot, maybe that was your advice. I don't know, Pisces. But y'all need to y'all need to watch somebody. Even the six of pentacles shows the scales. This is showing like scales energy. Anytime I see anything in twos, I think duality, I think choice, I think possibly. Somebody going both ways. That's just how my mind works when I do reading. So we have the page of wands. I greet new possibilities now born in me. So some of you are very ambitious right now. You could be on the Pisces, Aries cusp or have fire in your chart. Leo, you know, Aries, Sagittarius. You're enthusiastic about something. You're curious about something. Yeah, this is some kind of new way of creating or something like that here. Somebody could be a dancer. Whether that be an erotic dancer or like a professional dancer on stage somewhere, like, you know, like for a reputable company or something like that, like a dance company. That could even be your child. So we have the Four of Pentacles showing up here. Wow. So Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. And this is like somebody holding on tightly to something. I have more than enough. For some of you, this is about your money. Y'all need to save more money, pay off that way you can. You can have Capricorn in your chart. This is about thrifting. It's about conservative spending, delaying gratification as well. But I want to also tell y'all, somebody here is holding out on you, and it's because they are, it's because they are um, the confirmation. They go both ways, okay? So watch out for a Capricorn or any of these other signs I said. Strong Capricorn right here, though. You got the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. You got two ma masculine energies here. They could be dealing with an older or younger other masculine. It feels like a man. It doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman. But like I always say, women don't usually hide that they are bisexual or whatever because they don't get the same flack as men, you know, which is unfortunate because we want people to be able to live their truth so they don't have to lie to us, right? People should be, I'm seeing a whole bunch of books on a bookshelf, y'all. Somebody needs to read. Somebody could already be reading. There's something significant in a book. Some kind of lesson you're supposed to be getting in a book. Okay. So I don't know what that is. There could be some kind of book being passed down. Because mm -hmm. the Six of Pentacles can be like an inheritance. Somebody could have left you some books or something like that. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But answers could be in that book. Something about you reading is significant. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all. Somebody also can have like a child in a spelling bee or something. I'll see y'all next time. Leave me a comment if you so choose. Peace.